Hello Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Cross Watchers. This is your week ahead reading for whenever you are finding it. So first card out for you is Indecision. You are sitting on the precipice of a really big decision. This same card came out as the first card for another group. I believe it was Gemini. I'm not sure though. I feel like a lot of us in the collective right now are faced with like, should I do this or should I do that? Um, this will be something really, really big, but let's see what else comes out for you. We have the second chakra in reverse, Archangel Ariel. Oh my gosh, so many of the same cards keep repeating this week for all of the signs. This came out for Scorpio, I think, and this is showing a creative blockage or it also shows fertility, sensuality, and I don't know why I keep coming back up to the theme of fertility or the theme of families, having a family, starting a family. Or perhaps it's that some of you are pregnant with an idea that is ready to be born into the world. And, you know, by preventing yourself, by staying stuck in this analysis paralysis, this indecision on whether or not you should go for it, it's sort of like creating um, more like metaphysical fertility issues for you. Not like physical, but metaphysical. So you may be feeling a little bit stagnant in life, slow, etc. That is, those are all signs of a blocked sacral chakra. And to get that area activated again, it's really important to take action on your intuition as it comes up for you go with your guts trust your guts and bring those intuitive nudges down into the physical reality we have strategy coming out as well planning ahead okay well if i go down this path what am i going to do that's sort of the question here so some of you have a really great idea or there is a big sort of, I guess you could say opportunity presenting itself to you um, spontaneously at this time. And it's like, okay, if I do choose to go down this path, what will this look like? Let me strategize. How will this work? And sort of talking about it is what I'm seeing. So let's dive into your tarot. We're going to get six cards, two rows of three this week from the Cozy Witch Tarot. First card out is the star in reverse. Wow. You guys need to believe in yourself. You are more powerful than you realize. You are more, are, are stronger than you think. It says, have faith that healing is in the forecast. I love it. And, you know, the star talks about bringing your dreams down into physical reality. So this is only further confirmation here that something in spirit is wanting to be born through you. For some of you, this could literally be a child spirit wanting to come through some way, some form, <laughs> whether it's physically through you or not. Uh, and for most of you, this is just some form of idea. Like you may have an idea to have a business or start um, doing a new habit or take on a new hobby um, or like put yourself out there again. I'm not sure what your idea is that's personal to you, but this is the week to get started on it. Otherwise you're gonna feel really stagnant. We have the nine of wands in reverse. Mm. And this is what it looks like upright. The nine of wands in reverse is definitely a card of feeling a little bit fearful yeah, and look, she's all bandaged up. She's been burnt before by past candles that she's made. And now she's trying again, but she does. she's very, very careful. She doesn't want to get burned. It would take a hell of a lot more to defeat you, is what this card says. You guys, you know, I'm feeling a need here to be more confident in yourself, have more faith in yourself and your ability to manifest your dreams, goals, and desires. You know, this would be a great week for you to do some positive self-love affirmations in the mirror. Like, I am powerful, I am good at what I do. You can get really specific. Even when it comes to things that you always viewed yourself as, you can change the script. Like, if you always viewed yourself as shy, or people always, you know, thought like, oh, why are you so quiet? <laughs> you can literally look in the mirror and tell yourself, I am friendly, I love socializing, I love, you know, putting myself out there, blah, 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 blah. And you'll start to believe it. Your subconscious will believe it and your personality will change. I promise you. Okay. Another thing that I'm seeing here. Uh, I just lost my train of thought. All right, let's continue. <laughs> we have the Empress in reverse. Guys, I'm telling you, sacral chakra in reverse, emperor, Empress in reverse. This is fertility issues. Now, I'm not speaking in a literal sense. I mean, for some of you, actually, you could be dealing with um, some sort of I, I saw in other signs unplanned pregnancy. It could be that for others of you, you you could be dealing with some medical issues. Now, I don't predict this stuff. I don't predict 
uh, illness, death, that type of things. So you would have already known this. You could be dealing with um, or suspect that you have something like PCOS or um, what's that thing called when you... I don't know, you could be dealing with, <laughs> my mind is so bad at focusing right now. I just had dinner and I'm, I'm clearly not back into the groove of talking. Um, <laughs> some of you guys may have something like that, uh, or you may be worried about that. You're worried about your hormones and you're trying to sort of make yourself as healthy as possible. It's all connected to your sacral chakra here, um, but it goes way beyond that. This is life itself and the fertility of life and uh, manifesting everything that you desire. And this says there is beauty to be found in every experience. Yes, that is the flow of abundance. That is what it means to be in the flow of abundance, to find the beauty in every single experience you find yourself in. Even if you quote unquote, don't like the experience or think it's a negative one, there's still beautiful lessons and joy to be found there. Even if you're sick and struggling and broke and everything, like it's just neutral. Life is neutral. Life is what we make it. Isn't that a song by Hannah Montana? <laughs> Life's what you make it, so let's make it right. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, okay, moving on. My mind's all over the place. We have the King of Wands in reverse coming out for you as well. Oh my gosh, guys, this whole reading, it's singing in harmony. And this is your masculine energy, guys. And the masculine energy talks about taking action, protecting and uplifting the feminine, okay? The feminine being your hopes, your dreams, your wishes, your personality. And it's up to you to get into your masculine, harmonize your masculine energy by taking action on that, which you know you can do, that you want to do. It, this is the week to do it. This is not the week to stay stuck in indecision, okay? There's a lot of thinking going on like should I do it should I do it I'm seeing something like that some of you guys may be a little ballsy this week I'm getting a little ballsy energy which is why you're like hesitating on doing something I don't know why the example that popped into my head some of you may be doing something really outside of your comfort zone like wearing a bikini for the first time or um, posting like a, a really risque but beautiful selfie I don't know I don't know why those were the examples that popped in my head it could literally be anything you know it could even be um, coming out it could be there's so many different examples, you know, and I feel like you just need to do it. You just need to take that leap of faith um, and trust yourself. Shine your inner light, your inner candlelight bright enough for others to follow. Exactly. Yeah. The reason why life may be feeling stagnant or like no opportunities or people are coming your way, it's because you, you've been too quiet as a spirit. It's time for you to really put yourself out there, your thoughts, your feelings, your artistic work, your personality and be a part of the world okay interact with the real world and showcase who you are a little bit more oh my gosh yes you have the sun isn't the sun so beautiful on this particular tarot deck mm. it says give yourself permission to experience joy this is such a positive sign guys i feel like you're gonna be so happy you did this. I definitely feel you're making the decision and saying yes to something ballsy that you want to do, something that excites you, something that also like makes you nervous. It's like, should I do it? Should I, should I call them? Okay, should I tell that person I love them? Should I post the selfie? Should I put my poetry out there? You know, it's a, something like that, something cool. Should I call that job and just introduce myself and, and ask for an interview? You know, it, it's something bold. It's something authentic and unique to yourself. And you may actually do it and you may find a lot of happiness on this path. We have the Four of Cups in reverse. This card has been coming out a lot this week. It says, try not to be so picky, okay? <laughs> wow. I think this whole reading is saying, Sagittarius, you're too harsh on yourself. I don't know if you're like this all the time, but it, it doesn't feel like it's all the time. It feels like for whatever reason, um, your confidence levels may have went down a little bit and it just you just need a little attention to that area. I'm also saying this would be a good week to like um, focus on your appearance and, you know, get your nails done, your hair, or, you know, go thrift shopping, get some new clothes. Um, something like that may really go a long way in boosting your mood. It feels like you're needing like a revamp, like new you. 
um, some sort of like big dopamine hit, <laughs> okay? And to show that version of you, this bright version of you off to the world, so beautiful. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Like this video, comment how it resonated down below and subscribe to the channel if you've not already. Definitely watch for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs to get the fullest overview of this week ahead. And if you want a personal reading with me one-on-one, -on -one, the link to that is always in the description box, spiritpsychic.org. I also offer my intention oils there and my spiritual life coaching sessions there, so check it out. Bye-bye.